Hello! Chaos. It is time for chaos. Welcome to the first stream of Pokemon Y randomized. Very randomized, to be exact. Get out of here, music. It's time for Squid Sister Jump Squid Sister's chaos. Jump Scare. Chaos. I can do anything. Squid Sister's Jump Scare. Because that's my menu. Here we have the menu. Eveltal is spinning around. So, hopefully this should work. I can't test it too much without spoiling things, but the Pokemon that shows up in the intro is not what it's supposed to be, so I assume it's randomized correctly. By the way, this official art of them playing 3DS is kind of funny, if you haven't seen it. I love Judd just smacking the DS, looking exactly like a cat looks when they are smacking something on a screen. Anyway. Pokemon Y randomized. Splatoon sound effect. Here are the rules. Let's go over these real quick. So stats, types, and abilities are random, but they're consistent between evolutions and mega evolutions, allegedly. There aren't any abilities like Arena Trap. There aren't any abilities with no only a downside like Truant. And there isn't random wonder guard. Evolutions are random, they're always different from normal, and they attempt for a similar typing. I, I think that means between like the randomized typings, maybe? Uh, evolutions based on timing, like time of day and trade are changed so that they're possible like just through level and whenever. Evolutions are easier, which means they will happen at lower levels. Good for uh, Pokemon Black and white Pokemon, especially. Uh, the starters are random, they have random held items. All Pokemon that are in fixed places are random. All Pokemon that are in the wild are random. All the in-game trades are random. The power, accuracy, PP, type, and category of the moves are all random. Move sets are random. Everyone has at least four moves at level one, and some percent of the moves are supposed to be good damaging moves, quote unquote. Trainers have random Pokemon. All battles with trainers are double battles. All trainers have better move sets. All trainers have held items. As I said, the wild Pokemon are all random. Every Pokemon that exists in this generation is supposed to be here somewhere. Catch rates 100%. TMs and HMs are random, except for like field move things like dig or fly, I guess. Uh, there's some percent of good damaging moves in these TMs and HMs. Combatability is random, all HMs can be used by anyone. And items are random, like on the field and in special shops and from the pickup ability. <laughs> so it's very random. Maybe I should have done that when there was music. But look at this Pikachu wiggling. It's English. That's the language that I, that's the only language I know. Well, at all. Anyway. <laughs> That, that particular overview of the settings is available whenever by typing exclamation point randomizer. Which I probably could have made a shorter command, but I don't know. So here we have Pokemon Y. On the lower screen we have Givelto, who may or may not be appearing in this game. I think this is primarily a upper screen type of game again, but I can switch back and forth without too much trouble. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I guess I'll be doing voices. I am Augustine Sycamore, the Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. Marvesta is not supposed to be here. So in addition to this being just funny chaos randomizer, I also just wanted to re-experience Gen 6 because it's been a while Gen 6 is, does have some importance to me personally. And also, uh, Pokemon Legends ZA has been announced semi-recently. And that won't be out for a while because they're actually taking their time with something. Probably not on purpose, but because there's, they probably had to delay the Switch 2 or whatever. But this is both a revisiting of Gen 6 and a funny randomizer of Gen 6. So I will be doing like I won't be just like blasting through it. I'll be paying attention a little bit. I'll be checking things out, reading dialogue, etc. 
This world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of our world. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, and others yet swim in deep oceans. We live together with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. Also, hello and welcome to everyone. Let's get started with some quick questions. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Girl. I'm girl. And what do you look like? I'm pale. Oh, I see. Would you tell me your name? And then we have the name entry thing over here. For this, my name is Bethy. Now, if you want me to explain why, this is because I was poking at Final Fantasy XIV name randomizers, and one randomizer for Mikotai names gave me Beffy, like B-E-F-I. Beefy tilda. Beefy, no, Beffy. So, I thought that was really fun to say. And then I also learned that Beffy, B-E-F-F-Y, is a surname that is apparently most common in France, which is what Kalos is based on. Also, uh, stay tuned for my terrible idea for how to name randomized Pokemon. That is also related to this thing that I just said. You'll see it soon enough, I'm sure. So it's Beffy then! Did I get that right? Yes. Beffy! Très bien! What a fantastic name! You're gonna make me say French words and I'm bad at it. Beffy, your adventure begins now! Something, something! Go meet many people and experiences in Pokémon. Uh, go and visit the world of Pokémon. You know, the usual. Whenever a text auto advances, it's difficult. Bird. That's a Fletchling. Who may or may not appear in this game. Beyond this point. Now, if for whatever reason this doesn't work, bleh, I'll have to figure out something else to do, I guess, but it should work, right? It Beffy. She have a Pikachu 3DS. She also have a Wii U! The gamepad even has a screen! Whoa! Incredible. It's a movie about a 72-year-old man who went on a journey with his beloved cat Pokemon. Beffy checked the PC her dad gave her. Adventure rule number one, the X button opens the menu. Adventure rule number two, record your progress with save. True. The menu is down here, of course. So, let me see. How does this all work out again? There's Beffy. There's the badges that I don't have. You can probably poke them and they go ding. That happens in some games. Do we have any starting items? No. It's been a long time since I played Gen 6. But I did play Gen 6 through twice during its existence because first I played as the male trainer and then I was like, hmm. Fashion's pretty bad for the male trainer in this one. That's clearly the only reason I want to play through the entire thing again as a female trainer. The Pokemon X and Y have an importance to my gender journey, as it were. Bethy looked in the mirror. And changed out of her pajamas! Congratulations, Bethy. Alright, you can run by default. Actually, I should look at options. I believe my text speed is set to just be extremely maximum no matter what, as part of a randomizer setting. Uh, what if I set it to set to make things more difficult? Well, you can't just run around in your pajamas. What do you think this is? A video game that lets you do that? You can't, uh preview these at all. So, and also you won't be seeing the lower screen because this is a different wallpaper to be used on the lower screen during battles.
card button mode default L equals A or no Eleanor. Forced save. Anything else in here? This is a weird room shape, actually. We've got this like weird like hallway with a giant shelf in it. Weird room, Duffy. Morning, Buffy. You sure slept well, all rested up from the move. It's about time you got going. Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbors? Chirp, chirp. It's stuffed with pretty Pokemon knickknacks. Everything appears to be arranged in a very orderly fashion. It's a documentary about a Rhyhorn that overcame an injury to take on a big race and the girl who struggled alongside it. I think this is the game where your your character's mother is a Rhyhorn racer, so that might be a documentary about her. Hello. And now everyone has become chibi-fied. Welcome to Vonneville Town. The name's Calum. I live next door. And I'm Shauna. Great to meet you. There is a Pokemon racing game, at least one. There was like Pokemon Dash, I think? I don't think it was particularly incredible, but it did exist, I think. Guess what? We've come to get you! The renowned Professor Sycamore lives here in the Kalos region. I already has a task for five kids, including us. Um, but I'm surprised he knows who you are. You did just move to Vonneville, after all. We'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokémon! Come on, hurry, let's go! I thought you could play as other Pokemon besides Pikachu. There's there's the Rhyhorn. I really want a Pokemon, then I could go wherever I want. Oh, you must be the new young lady from next door. Welcome to Vonneville Town. We have a son who's just about the same age as you. If you do meet our Kalem, I hope you two will become good friends. Don't need to thoroughly explore my neighbor's house at this time. So part of why I'm playing this on actual hardware is because it's cool to do that, I guess. And also because this game didn't emulate super well when I tried that. So hopefully this works better. Science is amazing! If you use communication technology, you can look all over the world for players who are playing at the same time you are. Then you can play together. Then your DS can fall over. Inexplicably. Well, okay. I don't know why this is happening suddenly. Wow. It's fine. Maybe there's something weird with the cable. I don't know. It's fine, though. So, we do have this bit on the lower screen that is going to be largely irrelevant for all time. Vonneville Town is pretty nice, right? The Kalos region has lots of cool towns. I want to see them all when I get big. I do love the recurring science is amazing in PC. Oh, would you look at that? You've got on a pair of running shoes, my young friend. I can't see a pair without thinking of the old jingle they used to play in their commercials. To dash, dash, dash in a flash, flash, flash. Press the B button to dash in a flash. Yeah, just press that B button. I'm doing it. If the time comes, I hope I can entrust my son with a Pokemon. Going out on a Pokemon journey really helps you mature, you see. I think the main character in X and Y is like slightly older than usual for a Pokemon protagonist. They have wind powered jet boosters. That's pretty incredible. Anyway, that's the shortest route one ever. Hey, Beffy, this way over here. Pokemon X is also the game where you have the crew. 
We were just talking about you. Come on, have a seat. This is the meeting place, Beppy. I'll introduce you. Everyone, this is Beppy. Wow, Chana's description was spot on. So, Beppy, this is Tierno. He can really tear up the dance floor. And this is Trevor. He's a little shy, but he always gets perfect scores on his tests. All right, nice to meet you. I have to figure out a voice for these people. You know, we'd feel like we're a closer crew if we call each other by nicknames. Can I call you Lady B? What? No way, she's a little B for sure. Write the nickname feature that I hate. What do you think, Trevor? Uh, what? You want me to nickname someone I just met? Donna, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. Uh, how about something low-key? Maybe something like Beekins. You should decide what we call you. Call me Beffy, god dang it. <laughs> this is exactly what I did before. I just input the same name I put in. Whoop, I almost put Beft. No, I did put Beft! I pressed the wrong button! Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Incorrect, incorrect, incorrect. I'm not Beft. Get out of here. <laughs> Great start, everyone. See, look, the enter key looks, the enter button has an arrow pointing backwards on it, and my brain did a flip and forgot what that meant. Embarrassing. Anyway. Uh... Well, we're back here now. I refuse to be beft. It's fine, we didn't lose any time with that. Really. I don't have to talk to people. I will never be beft. I'd rather be bereft. Of... Beft. Beftent, yeah. I suppose the primary reason to use the text speed is at maximum always setting of a randomizer is because it's when, for when you're not paying attention to the text or something. Seriously, what's the deal with this Route 1? It doesn't have anything on it. It's so weird. But I guess we can mash through text when I accidentally call myself Beft this way. Come on, dice roll. Give us 140 power Aqua Jet again. Did I have 140 power Aqua Jet in one of these? I forgot. Wow. Hello, welcome. Okay, so they still suggest the same nicknames. This time I will not take Beft. There, see? So I thought this was backspace for some reason. Because it looks like it's an arrow pointing backwards. But it's it's the line return key. That that makes sense. Anyway. Just call me Beffy. I beg of you. You want us to call you Beffy? Yes. Oh wait, there was a yes or no. I could have said <laughs> Well, it's funnier this way. Okay, Beffy fits you perfectly. I'm sure we're gonna be great friends, so I'll call you that too. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the adventures of Beffy. Hey, can we see the new Pokemon now? Or see the Pokemon now? I wanna meet my new partner soon. I know, right? It was such a cool feeling when Trevs and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did. God, yeah, that, that makes sense. All right. Oh, 
Great! So, it, well, this pretty much confirms that it does work. Uh, so here's our friends. Oh yeah, this is, the Rainbow Robin is automatic now. Large, choose a Pokemon, Doduo! <laughs> or Larvitar. <laughs> okay. What do you all think? I do love to hear their song. I mean, like, Hippowdon is probably the obvious choice, right? Just to have a pretty good start. Although the stats are randomized, so this Hippowdon could be garbage for all we know. Well, we'll find other stuff. How randomized are the evolutions? I'm glad you asked. You can type exclamation point randomizer, but also there's this. So evolution should be all different from normal. They should be faster than normal as well, but I don't know exactly when Larvitar would evolve. Probably pretty slow still. So... Also, there's going to be a lot of chaos and extra difficulty, so that'll be fun. I think I'll just pick Hippowdon for now so that we know we have a starter with, like, decent stats. Hippowdon won't be going anywhere evolution-wise, but thank you for petting Calico. I will choose this Pokémon. Received Hippowdon! Would you like to give your Pokémon a nickname? Yes. All right, welcome to my worst idea for how to nick- Oh, we got a female hippowd on. I should have known that from the coloration. But welcome to my worst nicknaming ideas ever. So, as I mentioned earlier, the name Bethy derives from- I looked at po I looked at Final Fantasy XIV name generators, and it gave me B-E-F-I for a, uh... Keeper of the Moon, Bicote. And um, I thought that was really fun to say. And then I learned that Beffy, as spelled as the way I've spelled it in game, is actually a French surname that's real. And um, continuing on that train of thought, we're in France, random names are funny. All Pokemon in this playthrough will be named by an Elizen name generator. Until I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> if that happens. So let's see what we get. You can't see this on the screen. But you'll have to you'll have to take my word for it. It generates uh, let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine. It generates ten names at a time. It only has male and female. So if there is a genderless Pokemon, I'll just pick one arbitrarily, I guess. And uh, it looks like one of the names that it's given me in this set is. Oven, <laughs> apparently. You wanna you wanna name your Ella's an oven? Well it's better than it when it when it gave me the name Hobo Potion in a French spelling, which it did. I will not be naming a Pokemon Hobo Potion. Uh anyway, meet Oven the Hippo, I guess. Oven Hassier. So you decided, decided on the nickname Oven? Yes. Okay, my partner is Froki. Citation needed. Wow, we go together great. The two of us are just way too cute. Musical note. Good to meet you, Finnegan. My name's Caleb. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thanks. Um, pardon me, but I have something for you from the professor as well. I have something that'll help you understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. Bethy received a Pokedex. Uh, so you see, the Pokedex I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. But the reason you get one is because the professor wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. To put it another way, it's an important mission from the professor, I'm sure of it. Oh, lighten up, Trebs. You're way too serious sometimes. Uh, Beffy, please take this with you, too. It's a letter from the professor. He said you should give it to your mom. 
I guess this is the Tierno voice. I don't know why. The Prof's letter. All right, we're done with I am for the professor. I guess Trevs and I'll go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trevs. In Kalos, kids are chosen to carry a Pokedex and go on an adventure. But you need to give that letter to your mom before any of that. I guess, I guess Kalem is very serious. Let's take a look at Oven. Oven, the cold food about the hot food, eat the food, or whatever. Oh boy. Oh wait, your coloration is different than it was. So, fighting Rock Hippowdon with high attack defense, special attack, sort of okay, special defense, low speed, and good HP, I guess? Overgrow, powers up grass type moves when the Pokemon's in trouble. Great. Wonderful. And on in terms of moves, we have uh this. <laughs> okay. Alright. Please show up over here. Snatch with 95% accuracy. Special Steel Wing Fairy Type 50 power. Spe uh, physical wood hammer. Poison type 50 power 95 accuracy. 60 power special ground wrap. Intriguing. And yeah, oven is now... Oven has been in the oven too long and is now gray. So this is a this is what we're dealing with here. Oven's icon on the lower screen is also like yellow. So maybe there's not different Hippowdon icons, I don't remember. Buffy, wait! You're gonna be my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut! Okay, little Froakie, it's our first battle! Let's win it with style! I don't remember how the double battle deals with this. I think it doesn't. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Shauna. I think this will just be a single. Hey, that's nothing that we saw, but okay. All right. This is what the uh, floral pattern I picked looks like, apparently. All right. What type? There's no way to tell what type things are because there's no way to change colors. She got a female war turtle. Speaking of restarting a million times to get through the, uh... I'm gonna go with 60 power wrap. Mega kick! Okay, you're flying type. You're not affected by grounds. Good to know. Let's try fairy steel wing. This might be bad for Oven. Let's try Poison Wood Hammer, I guess. Okay, that's better. A critical hit, that, that explains some things. Dragon Tail. This is a realm of chaos, as you know. Fairy Steel Wing is probably better, because I think it was accurate. As a reminder, one of the settings should be that uh, the enemy has better move sets. It would appear that they do, in fact, have better move sets. What is? I don't remember Fiery Dance at all. There we go. Oven is fine. Good job, Oven. Oven has many numbers. So the stat spread should be shuffled around, but I think this is actually pretty accurate to hit pound on. Oh, Volcarona's signature move, okay. Hey, I wasn't done watching my cute little Froakie yet. Beffy received money. Hooray for Beffy. You're amazing, Beffy. Here, let me fix up your Pokemon musical note. Say hi to your mom for me. Please note, I will probably not be making anyone sound actually French in any way. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely Froakie. 
Hooray for Biffy. <laughs> Biffy. Oh yeah, the low health. Alarm. There might be an op there might be options for that in the randomizer, but yeah. So, what did what did you and the neighbor kids end up doing? Wait one second, Beffy. Is that a Pokeball you have there? You got your very own Pokemon? Lucky you! How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now too. Congratulations! Huh? A letter for me? It says it's from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? Hmm. Wow, what lovely handwriting. Huh? What do we have here? A request. Oh, I see. Beffy! We barely unpacked and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Chespin ready for your journey. <laughs> yep, that's a Chespin, all right. Here you are, Beffy. I even packed a change of clothes. My, what an unexpected turn of events. It's just like a sudden last burst of speed from a racer in a Rhyhorn race. You made friends, you met your Pokemon, and now you gotta get to take a lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this! Town map. You know how to use a town map, right? Yeah, probably. That's my girl! Select the town map from your bag whenever you want to use it. I don't know what this Professor Sycamore wants you to see on his on your trip, but taking a journey with your Pokémon is a really wonderful experience. When you say change of clothes, you don't mean you gave me alternate fashion choices, right? No. The mirror is probably not how that works anyway. Hello, Rhyhorn. Ha ha ha! What a card! I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send-off for your journey. Well, it has known you since you were born after all. Good luck, Buffy. Go for broke and don't worry. We all have Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. Little does Beffy's mother know that Beffy's enter entrance into this world has sent everything into chaos. Beffy is the chaos keystone or something that has obliterated all sense and logic. So I don't have Pokeballs, almost certainly. I have one potion. I have a hollow caster. I have a town map. You can look around the town map. Yeah. Imagine growing up with a Rhyhorn. Imagine being like a tiny baby and there's a Rhyhorn staring at you. That seems scary. I feel like babies would dislike this. Potentially. Here, this potion's for you! Feel free to use it! Thanks. Potions can heal Pokemon wherever and whenever. Nope, that, nope. If you want to be more fashionable, you might want to go to Santa Loon City. I've been buying the newest fashions at the boutique in Santa Loon City. I play with my Pokemon and pet it. My Pokemon and I are going to train really hard. Right, this game has like Pokemon and me or whatever, doesn't it? I can poke little buttons on the lower screen. There's, uh, various things. What's this? Ah, oh, that's the Pokedex. It's all wacky today. This time. I don't know why I said today. Items, trainer card... Right. It's over here. Play with your Pokémon! Yeah. Yep. I guess I probably won't be engaging with Pokemon and me too much. But I feel like we have to do it a little bit. Poked. I, I am petting the oven. Not advisable in reality. Have a, have this. Good job. You did it. 
There is also, of course, super training, which I probably won't be doing much of. But it does exist. I should not do super training, honestly. Probably. Oh, it's tutorializing me on how to do this. But we'll see a little bit of it, maybe. It's time for some special training! Remember this mechanic that they never brought back? Remember this theme? That's Scatterbug. That's Oven. You know them. Tap and drag on the lower screen to both aim and shoot a special ball. Right. I think you can like charge up or something. I don't know. The hippo is wiggling. I always used super training instead of horde battles because it was easier to keep track of for me. And also I kind of enjoyed it. Now you can like super train Pokemon at the very start in order to EV train things immediately if you want to. With no uh, like investment. I don't care about super training anymore. Okay. So I don't think I can buy Pokeballs or anything like that right now. I'll check though. It'd be funny if you could. How can we humans possibly feel well when our Pokemon aren't feeling well? Come see me anytime your Pokemon aren't doing well. I'll take care of them. Greetings, young traveler. Have you enough potions? A person whose Pokemon do battle is called a Pokemon trainer. Pokemon you catch in a Pokeball become your friends. Bags are mysterious. Bags are great! They automatically sort items put in them by the kind of item. Incredible. Welcome. This is a specialized shop that sells only Pokeballs. Well, okay, never mind. I can buy Pokeballs. I'm going to buy a million of them. So catch rate should be 100%. So... Uh... Just in case, because we're going to run into, like, I don't know, Groudon immediately. When I tested this a long time ago on a different randomized file, um, I ran into a Kyogre immediately, basically. Hmm, what are you curious about? I, if it's something I can answer, I can attempt to answer it. Hey, Pokemon trainer! If you set foot in the tall grass, a wild Pokemon will pop out. But you'll be fine, because your Pokemon partner will battle for you. Thanks. Here I go! Who's ready to see the first random encounter of the game? It's... Purloin! Great! We can immediately hate how the cat stands up. I love that, for me. There's something about Route 2 that they sort of carried over into future first routes? What's that? Purloin is fairly normal as a thing to show up here, maybe. I don't think Purloin shows up here, but like it's a Pokemon that you'd expect to find early on. Pokeballs always work. Well, I said it so that Pokeballs always work no matter what everywhere. So I cannot answer whether or not that happens on this route. Devious Pokemon! Right, we have to nickname everything. So, female names. Randomize. You will be...
You tell. According to the the Ellison name generator. I assume there will be many names that I don't know how to pronounce correctly. But also, they're Ellison names. They're like... Fake French, so they only sort of, you know, like, mean anything. Let's take a look at Utel. Okay, grass type, wonder skin, high special attack. Wonder skin makes status moves more likely to miss. And in terms of moves, we have, uh. <laughs> yeah. Ice type spikes, very scary, actually. So, Fire Dance, Physical Steel. Mm hmm. Defend Order, Psychic Effect Move. It has 95 accuracy? It can miss? That seems weird. Uh, Dream Eater, Physical Bug. Literal bug gnawing on your face when you sleep, I guess. So, that doesn't do anything for us. Spikes, that's Ice type. Now, I don't actually know if Spikes is coded like Stealth Rock, where the types of it, the type of it does anything. But if it is, well, I guess actually it's unclear whether or not how much that will matter. Pokemon that only know Assist with the exception of a Spiracle that has legendary moves. That's pretty funny as a concept. There's got to be more stuff on this route. So we got we got to look around. Every Pokemon that existed in this generation should exist here. A uh, Watchog. What's with the Gen Five rep here? I think Watchog is is Watchog five or four. Anyway. Yeah, Stealth Rock only applying the advantages would make sense because. Spice is normally steel, and it doesn't have advantages there. All right, you get experience for catching in this one. Elvin wants to learn the move Mind Reader, yeah? Is that so? You wanna, you wanna... Why does that have a 95% accuracy? That's weird. You wanna you wanna get a no miss move? I guess that's more useful than snatch. It feels like all the effect moves are 95 for some reason. And Watchog is must be a smart of <laughs> Flying Psychic! Yep, that's fair, I guess. And your name will be... Uh, I don't think I want to name you Fatort, which is one of the things that this generated. Your name can be Omyo. Ella's in name generator, everyone. <laughs> That does sound like a plausible Midwestern cryptid. And what does Omyo have? Symbiosis. The Pokemon can pass an item to an ally? What? Hidden power dark? Well, we don't know what type it actually is. Throw the earth to a sail. Fighting type psychic. And thief. Special type... Or special dark type thief. Weird one. Like many things. Right, I need to remember that red is up and blue is down in terms of stats. So this is a special attack watchog with psychic mind stealing question mark. I don't think experience share exists. I don't quite remember. Right, anything else around here? Probably. I would I would guess. Clay doll? Okay.
we want to like fill out the team as much as possible right away. So. Psychic Steel, that's not too far off. And your name can be... Uh... Your name... Get out of here, Mouse Cursor. Can be... Eglant. I wonder if I will regret this way of naming Pokemon or not. Let's take a look at what Eglant can do. <laughs> Sand Rush, I think that's fairly normal. Uh, Steel Zap Cannon that's even more garbage than usual. Fire Rage. Ground Rototiller. Odd. And normal Metal Claw. I feel like having four Pokemon is a pretty good start. So I can probably run forward a little bit. Right, you're gonna tutorialize catching. Oh, hi, Beffy! Come learn how to catch Pokemon with me! Caleb's mom and dad are amazing trainers! That's why he knows so much about catching Pokemon and battling! You can talk about my parents if you want, but it doesn't have anything to do with me. I'm going to show you how to catch one now, so watch carefully. What are you gonna find in this grass? Oh, I think this is probably just normal, right? Maybe? Yeah, this is preset. This battle is not as randomized, perhaps. No, it's a little randomized. Oh, no, not really. So the moves on the lower screen that you couldn't see because I didn't press the button fast enough were completely different from what actually happened there. There was like crunch and like a whole bunch of other stuff. Those are the sounds of lower screen things happening again. But the Fletchling used a regular tackle anyway. went inside the Pokeball? Yes, that's how it works. Seriously, Shauna, did you forget already? Your Froki is in a Pokeball, right? Anyway, I'll share some Pokeballs with you two. Hooray. I already spent all of my money on them. Pokeballs! Do you think I can catch Pokemon with them too? If you throw a Pokeball at a Pokemon around here, you'll probably catch it. Okay, if I find a cute Pokemon, or I'll throw lots of Pokeballs at it and then we'll become friends, musical note. Catching a wild Pokemon makes your Pokemon stronger, too. Be seeing you. There's probably like a bunch of encounters everywhere because of the settings I chose, so there's probably more to find around here. Or not. Now, the difficult part is trying to remember what type anything is. So you are, you are Psychic Steel. which means that I think everything that Omyo Om can do is neutral to you, but I guess we'll find out. No, okay, that's not neutral. I don't know why it's telling me that Rototiller isn't affecting... Oh, it's like a double battle move, isn't it? Probably. So this seems to be working correctly so far, which is a good sign. Right, there's like an immediate forest, too. 
Hello, primate. How are you? Mad, as usual. Alright, what's Primeape Steel going to be? I guess I'll be getting a lot of experience early on, because I'll be running into Pokémon that give more experience. Oh, Mio wants to learn the move Roar of Time! I guess. However... <laughs> great! I love randomizers so much. So, Roar of Time... is... 55 physical rock. Well, it's it, you can't move on the next turn, so turn. So this is not at all helpful, really. Uh, it might be better than like hidden power, I guess. Coverage. I love randomizers. They're so funny. All right, water primate. Angry and wet. Understood. The squeak of time, yeah. I was about to say no reflexively to the naming. Your name is... Whoop. I gotta put it on here. I, right, I can use the stylus. Your name is Siamon. Because the T is silent, I think. I think that's how it works. Siamon. I'm getting a lot of Pokémon that will not evolve again. Unless they're Mega Evolutions, of course. Alright, Siamon, what's your deal? Natural Cure. All status conditions heal when the Pokémon switches out. Uh, so this is fun, maybe. I see him on, I catch it. God dang it. So... <laughs> so, uh... Ground Odor Sleuth, Psychic Physical Acid Spray, Grass Physical Explosion that sucks, Ice Magma Storm that has 75 power, and 100 accu- hey, that seems really good, actually. It, like, especially for right now. That's the best move we've seen so far. So that's good, I guess. All right, now here's the funny, here's the funniest prank of all. When two trainers' eyes meet, a Pokemon battle must begin. I'd like to remind you that there are wacky settings. You see, he has two Pokemon. You see, he is sending them both out. That's right. Every trainer battle is a double battle, if you forgot. So, as a reminder. Ah, we also have ice now. So, every trainer battle is a double battle. Every, every, um... Every trainer's Pokémon have better move sets. Things are going to be difficult. We have no idea what type either of these Pokémon are. We may be in, a, in trouble. It is impossible to know so far. So, uh... Just gonna just gonna go and see what happens is there a way to see what a move does in advance I forget I don't remember if you can call up like a help for what these things do in X and Y because it doesn't seem like you can really but X or the select button Oh, right, I have Thief. Right, all enemies have items as well. Cat obliterated. I forgot that trainers have items. I forgot that was also a setting that I picked.
So every trainer battle is like life threatening, potentially. Let's try select. No. X, no. Y, no. Start, no. I may not be able to, uh. You know. I may not be able to. So you're neutral to Dark Fight. Oh, wait. Yeah, Magma Storm is the thing I'm trying to use. Hold L while selecting the move, got it. So you resist ice, whatever that means. We'll see if I regret my decisions with how I balanced this. If like battles are like this much immediately, you know? Cause this is a lot to immediately happen. But look how excited Siamon is. He's having a great time. Okay, yeah, holding L while selecting the move does in fact work. Uh oh, frustration. Oh no. So that was the first trainer battle in the entire game. Well, not counting the introduction one against Shauna. How are we feeling about this? What does that do again? Mimics the target completely copying their ability. Maybe? Maybe. should have told me that you were that strong! Oh, I survived, which means it's good, okay. <laughs> anyway, time to backtrack and heal immediately. Is there even a Pokemon Center in Aqua Chord? Do I have to run back to... I mean, of course there's not, I guess. Time to sprint back to my house. To take a nap. There's Bethy. That's her. Any landing you can walk away from is a. Oh, okay. I thought it was something that I didn't quite remember. Well, it should be interesting at the very least. So, yeah, we don't have experience share yet. Whenever I'm looking at the menu, you get to see this wonderful screen of nothing. How do you feel about that, I guess? <laughs> I 
Hello, welcome. I'm glad you love the color green. We may or may not be seeing some of it. There's some of it on the screen right now. Even a broken clock is right twice a day is also a pretty good saying. So this is, hello, welcome. This is Pokemon Y extremely randomized with lots of chaos and extra difficulty. You can type exclamation point randomizer to see all the, hello, Dubblade. Hey, look, we found swords. I did say extra difficulty, but also catching Pokemon is for free. I made that 100% because the, my least favorite part of any Pokemon game is trying to catch a Pokemon and having it break out over and over forever. That's not a part I care for <laughs> too much. Let's learn about swords. Dragon sword. That's good. That's good. Right, swords have a gender. I forgot. These are these are dude swords. And so your level is or your name, according to the L as a name randomizer, is Adu. Not to be confused with Adieu. Though I guess we can say adieu to enemies of the swords. Yeah, the camera stuff is fun. Let's learn about adieu. Oh, you have an item. What item do you have? A timer ball. Fair enough. Okay, so your only good stat is special defense. You've got... Flying Crunch, Water String Shot, Water Spark, and Dragon Circle Throw. Also, you have Symbiosis. I don't remember what that even means, but apparently I have a lot of people that can pass items to allies. Uh, special type, er, Special Attack Flying Crunch, er, Flying Crunch, yes. Water String Shot, Physical Water Spark, Physical Dragon Circle Throw. Fair enough. Weird swords. Here's the color green again. I heard you like it. It's more of a teal, maybe. Symbiosis triggers any time an ally Pokemon consumes its item, whether directly or through the use of fling or natural gift. If a Pokemon meets another Pokemon's berry with bug bite or pluck and is not holding an item, its ally's symbiosis will be triggered and give an item to the Pokemon that used that move. Hmm. I see. Wait up, let's walk together. I feel like something exciting will happen if I stay by you. Because you're the you're the center point of all the chaos that's affecting our world. Here's an eject button on the ground. Great! That's... If the holder is hit by an attack, it will be switched out of battle. I don't think that's consumed, right? I think that's a permanent item. So if I had two people with symbiosis and one of them gets hit, it doesn't make... It wouldn't make both of them switch out, right? That would be very funny, though. Alright, time to find a bunch more new random friends in the grass. Like Nidoran Mail. It is consumed? Weird. I thought Shauna was going to double battle with us, but I guess not. It'll be really funny if Eject Button is just like a common item found all over the place. We just keep collecting them. Okay, they are consumable, and items only refresh in Scarlet Violet, so it's not terribly useful. Grass Slutoran. Does Dublade have a special evolution condition, or is it only level up? I don't remember normally. Your name shall be... Oop. 
Our rort! Apparently. <laughs> Ever since Buffy manifested. <laughs> yeah. We don't have the option to put people in the party from being caught yet. That's not in this game, apparently. Ah, my nemesis! I hate Cubchoo. Least favorite Pokemon. I don't like the snot, but I'm catching you anyway. It is nice to be able to catch everything for free. I appreciate this. Bug. Well, you do bug me, so that's not inaccurate. Your name shall be... Uh... Sure. Audain. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this works in the context of X and Y, but the randomizer does have the interesting settings for 3DS games that may only apply to Sun and Moon, of being able to have, like, mega forms exist separately in the wild. Hello, Meganium. I said mega forms, not Meganium. They still need to... They should add Mega Meganium in, uh, in ZA. I just want to- I just want Mega Meganium to exist because of the name. We're getting a lot of fully evolved things, kinda. Which is both useful and boring. And Mega Yan Mega, right, yes, that one too. I was trying to think of the other Pokémon with Mega in the name. Memento. What's that again? That's like when you die, or you- User faints and harshly lowers the target's attack stats. Better than string shot? Question mark? Normal Ice Meganium. So you have a bajillion weaknesses. And if you get hit by a fighting type move, you explode forever. Understood. I was about to say no to the nickname. Your name is... Yulwo. Meganium's normally just grass type, so like they have some weaknesses, but not as not as many as a normal ice type does. The encounter rate in here seems to be rather high. Hello, Golduck. We're making so many friends today. Golduck's download. Oh no! Cyberduck is here. You wouldn't download a swords. Stop it. Another grass type. There seems to be a lot of those, so far. Your name is... Halfony? Half phone? Half phone? Phones are very funny, you see, for the Cyberdog.
It's been a long time since I played a Pokemon ran randomizer. Heat Rock. That prolongs the sun. It's been a long time since I played a Pokemon randomizer, and I'm already loving all the nonsense. Right! This is when birds start being eternally in flight, I believe. For good or for ill. Wait, this is the gen that has sky battles, isn't it, then? Yeah. We might, I wonder if we'll ever be able to do those. Because you need to have flying Pokemon, right? Steel Swallow. Your name is... Utroar, I guess. I wonder if I'll run out of names from this generator at any point. Yeah, it's just Skarmory, it's fine. Super Potion? Can I talk to Shauna? I wonder what the professor's like. I can. I suppose one of the best ways to level up my Pokemon with the settings that I have would honestly just be to catch repeats constantly. But I don't want to do that. Now, I believe you were grass type. You're downloading my cat. Uh... You can hear the sounds of me looking at moves and things, but you cannot see them. Maybe it's so exciting all the time. Right, you always heal Pokemon. You do that automatically? Yes. I think. Wait, no. No, you don't, actually. I still had that one damage. That does make this a good place to, like, explore and run around. A Cherubi! I must catch every creature. Of course. It's important. Dragon Cherubi. Yeah, all right. Your name is... Ogryn. The T is silent. It, it directly says on the name generator that the T is silent at the end of names all the time, every time, always. I have no choice but to believe it. Barboach. We're going to have so many Pokemon to look at when we find a computer.
Browned Barboach, that's pretty normal. That's almost regular. Your name is... Elette, which looks like a mess to read a little bit, but that's fine. Could also be read as, read as three yet, I suppose. The encounter rate in here is very high. Did I mention that already? I did. So you're ground type. I suppose it doesn't really matter when I have a ready source of healing. The cat will rotate! <laughs> the super crown bad god, yeah. The cat will rotate! The cat will be blasted. Good rotating, you tell. Dragon Tail. I think we've seen... It's ice. No, it's 65 power, 100 accuracy. More useful than Dream Eater. That seems fair to have. Oh, Caleb's here. I can make my way through this forest in my sleep, I think he said extremely. First, I'll observe. Okay, so I think my dialogue settings have made the crew speak in, like, extremely fast. Oh! Hey, Gorgeist. I forgot that you existed at this time. A pumpkin is here. Fire Gorgeist. It sings joyfully as it observes the suffering of its prey. Is a Pokedex description I forgot about. Your name is Ivo. Ivo. Ivao. One of those. If your Pokemon are weak, you should use a potion. A battle? If you battle, you learn more about your Pokemon partner. This youngster challenged me to a Pokemon battle. Let's go! Oh, hang on one second, Beffy. Musical note. Look what I found, Beffy. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you might think. Paralyze seal. I love puzzles, so I can detect items in grass. All right, time for this. Come on, Scatterbug, let's powder this punk. Ammonite and Swirlix. Neither of these is a Scatterbug, but you don't need me to tell you that. So we haven't seen either of these exist in the world. So all I can do is swing blindly and see what happens. Uh, 
you could argue Swirlix is like a little bit powdery, maybe. So you resisted. Uh, okay, I forgot the animation of that in this game. Ow. You resist ice, I think? Yeah. What resists ice? Water. Is the only thing I can think of off the top of my head. You resisted crunch too, though. So you, what? Which is flying in this case. Mysterious. The cat will spin. The cat will rotate. You resisted dragon. Are you part steel? Have fun charging up, I guess. Well, you're dead there. I guess since catch rate is 100%, I can always buy only the cheapest, most basic Pokeballs and use all of my other money on healing items. Which is probably good, actually. Now, what are you? What's your deal? Neutral to flying. The cat will rotate. Neutral to steel. I will never remember any type combinations. Even of Pokemon that I catch. Cheer up, Scatterbug! We lost this time, but we'll get the next one that comes along for sure! Ah. Whoop. Hold on. Let me save. I think I remember reading that as a bug. Let me try that again. You can't talk to trainers after battle anymore with the double battle setting because this happens apparently. There's a long pause in the blank text box. So we miss like half of the trainer dialogue in the game, I guess. Tierno's going somewhere. I'll just have to try and remember that, but it doesn't like crash the game or anything it looks like, so it's fine. I wonder what kind of dance works best for a crew with Pokemon on it. Depends on the Pokemon. Like, almost certainly. Oh wait, no, I can't use ice because that'll... My ice move will end the battle. Speech consumed by the chaotic maelstrom. Yeah, that happens, I guess. Such is the nature of Deffy and her chaotic aura. I'm absolutely going to make a gif of the cat rotating later. <laughs> Do you need any Pokeballs? Here. Thanks. Your Pokemon are in for a shock! A dog and a horse.
As usual, my only plan at this point is to focus down one of the two enemies. Oh no, that dog's making money. Super effectively. That's what Gunshot looks like? Oh no. Oh, okay. I don't know why that obliterated you so handily, but it didn't. Need to spread out the experience a little bit. Oh no, Icy Wind should hit both of my Pokemon. For very little damage. Rotate! This dog is tough, apparently. Watch out for this dog. Hopefully it's fine that you can't see me like inputting any commands and you can only hear the noise. Everything interesting is hap happening on the top screen in battles and like you do get to see what I did eventually. It's just kind of funny that it works out that way. Roar of time! Go! <laughs> So wait, is Watchog Watchog's the evolved version? Because like it goes from Patrat to Watchog, I think, right? Eglant wants to learn telekinesis, which is 100% accuracy makes the target easier to hit. Better than some of the things that I have, sure. I probably need to focus on Pokemon that can evolve Sludge Wave. Or uh, Ado. User strikes everything around it. Physical Steel. 60 power. So, I do have a double battle move now, I guess. I just need things that resist Steel to be paired with it. When you got shocked. Green. Yeah, I should probably make my party mostly things that can evolve so that we can see evolutions, I guess. The best part about Pokemon battles is that they can happen anytime with anyone anywhere. Last lease. A Dredagon and a Snubble, huh? Hmm. The Dredagon is lower level. I'm worried about the Dredagon though. 
Telekinesis might actually be helpful in a double battle setting. Wait, does Rap not work because Telekinesis levitates things or because you're flying thing? It said it made them easier to hit. Um... Perhaps I misunderstood the meaning of this. User makes the target float, the target is easier to hit. Like, how easier to hit are we talking? I do have Zap Cannon. It'll inflict paralysis. Fusion Flare. <laughs> that does nothing. It's always very funny when, like, the very powerful special legendary moves get remixed into being useless. So, you resist fairy, you're unaffected by ground. What does that tell me? I don't really know. Telekinesis into a guaranteed paralyze is pretty good at this time. Wait, you're not affected by poison. Are you? You're still flying, then I guess. Okay, telekinesis is temporary. This is going to be an interesting playthrough, is what I'm learning. But I think we probably knew that already. to keep battling and training up my really awesome Pokemon team. Full incense. That's bad, right? <laughs> yeah. Makes the holder bloated and slow moving. Great. How useful. It could be useful for some weird edge cases. I really want to catch a Pikachu, but I haven't run into a single one. Flame Orb, also only useful for edge cases. Edge case might not be the right terminology. Get out of here, you. What's powerful? The Flame Orb? It burns you when you hold it. <laughs> not recommended. Uh... You were bug type. Which means I don't think I have any. Cupchu has mystical fire, so that's cool, I guess. I mean, yeah, there are situations where Flame Orb is powerful. Don't get me wrong. It's just that, like, you have to build for it, I guess. It's gonna be funny that everything that causes hail to happen is probably going to be beaten up by the hail. Because it's. Because they're not gonna be ice type anymore. Ah. Uh. <laughs> My rage is building while I am frozen in ice! Just you wait, I'll get my revenge. 
I don't remember if you can thaw automatically in this game. Cubchu has sketch, I guess. Cubchu learned how to be mad by looking at this frozen play doll. Joke's on you though, because you'll you'll die of hail. Never mind, you won't, because it stopped. What am I doing? Oh, you do thaw out, right? Because I get hit by a fire move, because you learned rage. Because rage is fire now. <laughs> what an elaborate fight against a random enemy. The green is here. Again. Everyone's favorite diagonal pattern. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. You were dragon type. I'm remembering some of these things. Also, for the record, I don't get to steal items I... I don't get to keep items I steal from trainers, apparently, because I don't have that quick fall, which is fair. It would have been ridiculous otherwise, probably, to have Thief this early. So you got here first. Seems like I'm neighbors with someone who has a lot of potential. The way Pokemon move, it's just incredible. I want to show off some of that spirit when I dance. Here, no. Could you think about something besides how Pokemon move for once? We're all here! Let's go to Santa Loon City! What are you all going to do? Why, well, look for Pokemon, of course. The professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex, after all. And furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. To put it another way, it's a chance to find different Pokémon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet different Pokémon will use different moves. I sure want to see lots of moves. What are you going to do, Kalem? I'm going to go to Santa Loon City's gym and take on the gym leader. So you know, Pokémon trainers test their strength by battling with the gym leaders in each Pokémon gym. Wow, you sure know a lot! I learned a lot from others. Here, I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down 10 different tips every trainer should know. Here's one for you. Steffi does not believe in rules. Look in those rules if you're confused about something. Oh, this is great! I'm gonna spend some time getting to know my little Froki. What are you gonna do, Beffy? Each Pokemon has PP- move has PP. That stands for power points. If the number of points for a move is zero, then you can't use that move. This is just tutorial dialogue. Mostly. Anyway. Mommy told me that I should battle anyone who greets me. My mother encourages violence. I'm in preschool. Here's my two murder fish. Great. Since every trainer is going to have held items, I guess Thief is always going to be useful. Let's try Telekinesis Zap Cannon strats more for a while. Not very effective, but I stole your glasses. It does seem to be always hitting after it, even though its accuracy is awful. 
I don't think telekinesis makes things 100%. Oh no, a berry. Your special attack is up now. Also, the terrain is electric now. Elmio wants to learn Eruption. Is that normal? Ground Eruption. Attacks opposing Pokemon with explosive fury. The lower the user's HP, the more the moves power. So this is another double battle thing, actually. It should hit both enemies, I think. told me to be polite, especially when I lose. It seems like... I wonder if I'm going to, like, out-level other enemies, like enemy trainers a lot of the time. At this rate. Considering I'm still fighting things that are, like, level 2 or whatever. But what's in the... what's in the grass? It's Wormadam! I have a fondness for Wormadam a little bit because of the uh, bug only Diamond remake run that I did. Shoutouts to uh, Crane, stuck eternally in the past now. Forever. Dark Wormadam! Okay. Your name is... I done? Idony? The L is a name generator does not tell me how to pronounce any of this. I have to trust in the generator. I don't want to spend, like, forever looking for new wild Pokémon on every route, either, but... But here's Volcanion! <laughs> Apparently! Alright, then. Howdy. How are you today, Volcanion? Are you doing well? Volcanion, a Pokémon I often forget about because it's so unusable, un unobtainable most of the time, and like barely exists in any context. But they're here now. Rock grass. Well, your name... ...is Talet. Abra.
ghost bug. Interesting. And your name is... Kluya. Kluyao. Apparently. Kluyao. Kluyo. We're going to be getting so many Pokemon so rapidly. Like Masquerade. Psychic. Okay, your name is... I may run out of names eventually. There's probably only so many different enough combinations of elf syllables that this can create. Coming through! Okay, bye. Have fun. Right. You need to cut that. My Pokemon and I are studying. Want to join us? The classic team of Iglybuff and Matang. Well, hold on. Let me look at the summaries. Let's try Sludge Wave Steel Titan. They have a similar idea. I got a critical hit on everyone? Eklon is fast. Rage and a move that hits my own person to increase the power of rage is a... Double battling is gonna be weird. That's technically a strat, I guess. Guess studying isn't enough. I need to practice with more real battles. Trying to like at least evenly level the Pokemon that I've got in my team at the moment. Guard spec. Sure. Okay. 
That's a Pidgey. That's a regular bird. It's the most regular bird I've ever seen in my life. Pigeon, your name is Glaver. Glaver, the fighting pigeon. For now, for now, a fighting pigeon. In the future, a fighting something else. The best way to learn about a move is to have your Pokemon use it. True, I guess. I forgot about Fool's Gold having a Pidgey in it. Yeah? So Dino has Illusion. And there's also a Meg Mortar here. Apparently. So people are starting to have more than two now. I'm still very higher level than everyone I'm running into, though. Possibly because I'm getting so much experience from all these powerful Pokemon that I'm fighting two of all the time. I wonder if this is going to end up being way easier than it seems like it should be. That would be a weird twist on this whole shenanigans. I did not consider how double battle would give me way more experience as a as a factor. Wow, that move packs a punch, all right. I went to the Pokemon Center because I was asked to buy Pokeballs. Here's Santa Lynn City. Which features clothes shopping. It's over now. Welcome. If you'd like, check the items at the back of the shop. This shop specializes in hats and accessories. Should I get a hat with a little something on it? I just can't decide. Right, we only have hats here? forgot that that was a thing. Oh, you want to use the fitting room? Take your time. Okay, there are other things, I guess. How expensive are these? Oh, wait. No, I start with some stuff. I did start with a change of clothes. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. I can't afford most of this stuff. The fashion in this game is very important. The fashion in this game is, as I mentioned, part of why... part of how I figured out gender a little bit.
forgot there's like a pose and you can rotate and zoom in and stuff. That's Beppy. I guess. Wow, it looks great on you. Beppy has spent most of her money on clothing. As it should be. Oh, hey there, Beffy. Are you here to get your Pokemon healed, too? Pokemon centers sure are great. You can talk to the lady at the counter and have her heal your Pokemon. You can even deposit Pokemon you caught in that PC. Know how many Pokemon are sent to a PC when you caught more... Know how Pokemon are sent to a PC when you caught more than you can carry? That's where they go. Here's a dance move. Oh, yeah, Beffy. Here's... There's a Pokemon in the back of a Pokemon center. It's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs and potions and stuff at the Pokemon, too. You better believe I'm going to be spending most of my money on clothing again. This always happens. Alright, let's take a look at all of the weirdos that we collected. Okay. Whoop, nope. That's not- that button didn't do what I was hoping it would for some reason. It seemed like I was like, okay, we looked at them enough. So, uh, Grass Nidoran with Justified. Protects Ghost Element Growth. Ice Element Fire Punch with 50 power and 80 accuracy. Poison Blast Burn. Okay. Uh, Bug Cub Chew with 50 power, 95 accuracy, physical twister, flying sketch, 55, 95 mystical fire, physical, 60, 85 physical ghost ice fang. Weird. Yulwo. We've got Steel Wing again. Clear Smog. Normal, 50, 85, physical. Ghost Wish. And Fairy Powder Snow. Powder Snow only hits one target, I think. Icy Wind is the one that hits both. Uh, Hafone has a ring target equipped. Which makes it easier to hit her, I guess. 50, 100, Air Slash, Special Rock. 50, 100, Fire, Special Brick Break. 50, 100, Special Dragon Flamethrower. Weird. Geomancy! I forgot about this move. Sharply rages Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed on the next turn. Isn't that like the special move of... Xerneas or something? Ground Destiny Bond, Ground Crab Hammer. Psychic Hyper Fang. Ground Fire Fang. Only 20 power on that one. Bug Spatial Rend. With 50 power. Water Swift Fighting Wing Attack. I don't need to read, like, all of the numbers. But I think it's more inter I think it's more beneficial to look at this lower screen, probably. The higher screen does have stats on it, so I'm not actually sure which one we want to be looking at most when I'm looking through these people. Uh, focus Blast with 100% accuracy is kind of funny. Isn't that supposed to be lower? Uh, poison Jab that's Dragon. Ground Wrap. Ghost Karate Chop. That's Special Element. Ghost Feather Dance. Flying Payday. Pursuit. Oh, Evo has an Assault Vest equipped. What? And, uh... Also, Evo's stats are very defense and special attack. I think Evo... 
might be really good. Is the thing. I mean, his defense is taking a hit. But he might be a really good one to use. Also, white smoke can't lower- Oh right, I haven't been looking at the abilities. Because they're on the top screen. I guess you can see which Pokemon it is on the top screen here too. Harvest. Lightning Rod. Sheer Force. Sheer Force is a good ability. Utroar might be very powerful as a Swallow with plus attack and Sheer Force. Depending on what moves he learns. You have download. Your woe is stinky. Uh, Aldane has chlorophyll. Let me know if any of the Pokemon that you can see me going through call out to you and you feel like I should use them. I done has run away, which is appropriate given the name. That's a lot of speed. That's very silly. Uh, Brave Bird is here. <laughs> Whoops. Brave Bird, which is not very strong. Okay. Oh yeah, you can poke him to make him wiggle. Volcanion, unfortunately, having hustle. Ooh. And also lowering their better attack stat and increasing their worse attack stat. Unfortunate. Heat Crash. The more the user outweighs the target, the greater the move's power. A heat Crash Ice type. Normal. Uh, Sand Force Abra. Ghost Bug. Wild Charge. Grass type. Acid Armor Fighting. Stone Edge Grass type. 95 power, 100% accuracy, Stone Edge. You say. Welcome to the team Abra, I guess. Good grief. 100 power 85 accuracy snarl? That hits both enemies and... Welcome to the team Abra, I guess. Jesus Christ. Well, we didn't get 140 power um, Aqua Jet, but we have this. We have a ridiculous... Stone Edge and Snarl. Snarl hit both targets in the double battles that we'll be seeing too. Uh, Masquerade has Illusion. After you, Work Up, Powder Snow, Glaciate. That's a Kirim thing, isn't it? I think. Maybe? Maybe not. A Glaver. What do you have? Shell Armor. 55. Power Dragon Draining Kiss. Inaccurate Rock Type Return. Okay. Sure. So. Uh. So what are we, what are we thinking? Does anyone have any strong opinions? Because I think. Uh, Pidgey might be worth using due to evolving quickly. Abra has ridiculously strong moves. And uh, Evo also seems pretty good. Swellow seems potentially good. So like, as far as effectiveness goes, I think these four are probably promising. And also, but also I think I want to see more things evolve. And like, you're fully evolved. You're fully evolved. You're fully evolved. And you're fully evolved. So I could just swap in... Well, two of these are already fully... These two are already fully evolved as well. So I want these two. I think. Anyone have any opinions? Like, anyone could be very powerful eventually, for all we know. Anyone have a favorite Pokemon that exists here?
Are there any other weird held items, actually? Well, there's the ring target, but that's garbage. We don't have to use our starter forever either, for the record. Like, we definitely don't. Well, no one has any strong opinions, so I guess I'll just go with this. The starter is already gone. I've just gone with a gut feeling or something like that. Pokemon are easier to catch if you make them sleep or paralyze them first. That's true. Except it doesn't matter. Anything I can sell for a ridiculous amount. The full incense sells for 500. Eject buttons sell for 500. Flame orbs sell for 750. I don't think I'll find a use for that. I will treat no item as if it is super important until there is... Right, special shops are randomized. Hi for gore. Uh... How fast was the Abra? You may or may not be slow. You're not the slowest thing I'm carrying. I don't know if a zoom lens is worthwhile, though. I will buy regular items, however. I only ever need to buy regular Pokeballs, and that's funny. So over here we have, like, just a changing room, I guess. There's a fitting room in the back there. You can change in a flash. Did you see any Pikachu in Sandaloon Forest? I really want to become friends with the Pikachu. I want to catch a Pikachu too, so lucky, Pika Pika Pika. Sorry, kids. I'm a, I'm a nexus of chaos. The world is never going to be the same. You may never find a Pikachu in your entire life. It's probably fine. Um... Walking through tall grass is great fun. All kinds of Pokemon jump out at you. That's more true now than it ever has been. You love your Pokemon. Even if it changes its appearance, you'll stay connected with it. Let's see, you and Abra are just getting to know each other. Yep. When a Pokemon's evolving and you don't want it to, press the B button. Early Pokemon Town tutorial NPCs. But there might be someone who gives me a weird item or something somewhere. The gym leader in this city is the fantastic photographer, Viola. I'll have to go find some bug-type Pokemon if I want to have any of my pictures displayed in the gym. There's so many ki great gym badges to be earned here in the Kalos region. I don't want to know about those. I never want to know any information. That's not true. Maybe. By the way, something I didn't mention about the fashion is that wearing a hat is mandatory in this game. Pokemon that you get from trades tend to grow easily and they quickly get stronger. We trade Pokemon, you and I will become acquaintances. How about it? Why don't you trade a Mawile for my Finian? No. Were you just thinking, boy, there's nothing to buy at the shops around here? Then get yourself some gym badges. The more you have, the more different things you can buy. That's true. This is this is a true fact about Pokemon. If you master type matchups, then even strong opponents will be a breeze for you to beat. Trainer's school. Probably don't need to go there. Oh, you. You are, aren't you? You're one of the kids who got a Pokemon from Augustine's Sycamore, right? That Abra you've got 
Bear looks pretty happy. You must be a good trainer. In that case, get over to the Pokemon Gym. I'm sure my sister will be glad to meet you. You're not gonna let me through, are you? Yeah. Can I sit on bed? Yes, I can. This game is very powerful. What can trainers do to reward their Pokemon for working hard? Drinks. You can get drinks there. Hey, stranger! Isn't cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait, do you mean to tell me you don't even own a pair of roller skates? And how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest, not me, so how about it? Do you want to battle? I forgot roller skates existed in this game. Whether it's Pokemon or roller skates, speed is important. Interesting. Okay, we do have a higher level of Pokemon type thing happening here now. So, Puyao will have to tag out for a second. Puyao. Go, Ado. I wonder if the enemy can, like, automatically detect my type and still work to use super effectiveness. Probably. So they have that advantage over me. Uh-oh. Moody is here. That's a, that's a concern. Um... I don't know if I have anyone who can resist Sludge Wave at this point. I might have thrown them away. I don't know what resists steel, actually. Maybe I'll be fine, I don't know. I forgot signal beam could confuse. Well, Gloom's dead. And Musharna has weak armor. Fire, water, electric, and steel. Okay. Nutella wants to learn hold hands. The heck does that do? The user and an ally hold hands. This makes them very happy. Sorry, what? It, huh? A special promotion attack? Let me... No effect in battle. Its target ally will perform a brief animation. It does have an effect if powered up by Normalium Z. Huh. I never knew about this move. Let's learn it. <laughs> Let's forget about bees and learn about holding hands. I forgot you were confused. And still doing things. Don't kill the cat, please. Oh, that hits both. I didn't know Glaciate hit both targets.
Your speed is out of control. <laughs> Great. Introducing Splash 2. It's like Splash, but better. Pidgey's not forced to fly everywhere. I feel like I'm gonna out-level stuff a lot of the time. You wrapped up the battle before I could reach my top speed! I don't know, you were accelerating a lot with your dream Pokémon there. Wow, that was amazing! You might even be stronger than a gym leader! All right, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. Listen up, I'll read you the instructions for your new pair of roller skates, okay? Our roller skates snap right onto any shoes so that you can glide your way around. All you need to do is move the circle pad to get those wheels going. That's all there is to it, so go on, it's your turn. Try gliding about like me. It's funny, you start with running shoes, and then they give you better running shoes immediately. These roller skates are an attachment that can be snapped right onto any shoes, so you can have fun and look good. Whoa. Why did I go super fast for a second? You have like a quick start or something. I forgot about the roller skates. I like the roller skates more than the bike. I think you get a bike later, too. I don't remember. Welcome to the teal screen. I assume you can't use these indoors or something. You see, so I picked up lots of great balls. Here, Miss Trainer, I'm feeling generous, so I'll share them with you. Yeah, all right. Great ball is just a really great Pokeball. Get it? It makes it even easier to catch Pokemon. I still remember my own first big adventure. I went all the way to the next town with my Pokemon. I heard that wild Pokemon jump out at people. I can still feel my heart racing like it was yesterday. I didn't talk to you. Oh, what a wonderful hat! It really suits you to a T! There are so many boutiques in the different towns of the Kalos region. It's a real treat to travel around. Well, here's the gym. Welcome to the bug photography zone. What's the hustle, little Crustle? Mm. Welcome to Santa Loon City Gym! So, future champ, this'll be your first time challenging a gym, huh? Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be, no worries here, you've got Pokémon on your side. And really, they're the ones who are gonna be doing all the battling. Am I right or am I right? Right. Jump under that pole there and you'll be on your way to where the gym leaders are waiting for you. Oops, but wait, before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Everybody in this Pokemon gym uses Bug-type Pokemon, got it? Probably false. Here we go. You get to the gym real quick, right. The web. I vaguely recall the web. I was vaguely recalling the web. Hey, are you a challenger? Come on, show me your Pokemon. Char is 
Charizard and Ember. Hey. Oh, hey, that's Mega Charizard Y. So that does happen in this. You got it. You got it, man. So that does happen in X and Y. Mega evolutions can exist outside of mega evolutions. As shown here, concerningly. Mega Charizard Y? More like Mega Charizard Y God Y. Yeah. At least I have good snarl. Kind of. Oh no, they have spikes also. And flare blades. Hmm. Is that... is this good? As they say? At least the cat can rotate. We don't know what type Charizard is. I'll be overleveled, Robin said, minutes before disaster. It might be okay, eventually. Okay, you're weak to fly. Okay, you're dead. Time to gain a lot of experience, at least. And then immediately leave. Oh, horse bomb. What's that like? Steel 65 power special. Better than Roar of Time. Oddly enough, perhaps. My swords are becoming my highest level Pokemon. Sing? Well, what's the accuracy on Sing? 100% accurate singing. Okay. You got it. Understood. It's also ghost type. Spooky ghost singing will always work. Every time. Blaber wants to learn Thunder Punch, which is ground type. It's identical in power and accuracy to ground type Crab Hammer. So actually, it's worse.
100% accurate sing. Well, it won't work on normal Pokemon. Normal Pokemon can't hear when a ghost sings. As we all know. But it should be helpful generally. Go to the sleep. It's funny how it pans up to remove the weather. Rocky Hillman. How about that? Well. Kind of a funny switch to do, but there we go. You woke up. And then a bunch of nothing happened. Right, you can layer spikes, I forgot. Well, that was a heck of a battle. all kinds of Pokemon by hanging out in the gym. You're not wrong, kid. Okay, bye. Good, you can climb back up. All of the trainers in this gym use bug-type Pokemon. Like Mega Charizard Y. It's fine. Really, it is. Thank you. Hello, welcome. What have you missed? Um, You just missed the first gym battle where the trainer sent out Embor and Mega Charizard Y. Which is the most outrageous thing I've seen currently. We can take a look at my crew of Pokemon currently. We've got Kluyao, Kluyo, the ghost bug Abra with all sorts of stuff going on. We've got Ivo, the Gorgeist, who is fire type and came with an assault vest. We've got Utel the Purloin, who can rotate a lot by using Fiery Dance and is Grass-type. We've got Ado the Dubblade, who is Dragon-type and has a 100% accurate Sing as of two seconds ago. And we've got Glaver the Pidgey, who is Fighting-type. And, uh... Olmo the Watch... the Watchog. We've caught a bunch of different... We've caught like a million different guys. Uh, there's a lot of shenanigans going on already. Here's the current box situation. 
As you can see, we've also seen a Volcanion already, who I forgot existed. Our starter was the Sipowdon. And we caught a number of other things. We have Claydol, Barboach, Swellow, Wormadam, Masquerain, Cheruby, Golduck, Meganium, Cubchew, and Nidoran Mail. The Volcanion is a weird one. Rock Grass unfortunately has Hustle. <laughs> Heat Crash is Ice type. Uh, odd stat distribution with an odd nature. Weird stuff going all going on all over the place with this Volcanion. I'm trying. I want to use a mix of things that seem good and seem like they would and like. Things that will evolve, because the evolutions are going to be random, too. But yeah, I was wondering earlier if the randomizer setting for making Mega Evolutions exist on their own would apply? And it does, because of that Mega Charizard Y that we saw this one youngster send out. So that's fun. I hope I find some and get to use them. But yeah, we're at the first gym. Oh yeah, this Abra that we have also has, um... If we take a look at the moves here... Stone Edge that's Grass-type with 95 power and 100 accuracy. And Snarl that's Fighting-type with 100 power and 85 accuracy. These are by far the most powerful things that we've seen so far in terms of number. Do you have any idea how quickly Bug-type Pokémon evolve? I don't know, but I doubt it's relevant to this gym. What do you have, Youngster Zachary? Electros and Frostlass. Why are the gym trainers super scary? What's happening? I'm very concerned. I was saying, maybe I'm going to be overleveled for everything and overpowered, and now this is happening, so I guess not. I guess the downside of Cleo is that his moves are very... Er, his moves are very strong, but he is very dead all the time, so... He doesn't actually accomplish much at all. And again, we have no way of telling what type most things are. So there's always that... wrinkle. I knew this would happen, with the not being able to remember or tell what types things are, and I chose it because I chose to embrace chaos. Ow. Okay. So Bind seems to be very strong, too. I'm getting the impression that every gym trainer is just going to obliterate. Right, 100% accuracy sing. I need to be using that, it's very good. This is how I can still win. My Dublate is going to go down pretty soon from the bind damage, though, so... It only works so well. I guess.
And that, that also happens, apparently. The enemy will know what types I'm using, I think, is something I'm learning here. Okay, ways to turn, why don't you? Right, ground is super effective, I should be remembering this. Solar beam is good against fire. Evo is dead and is never going to gain a level. I'm going to end up with like my the same Pokemon getting all the experience, I think. At least Frostlass is insisting on whatever this strategy is, for some reason. At least Clever gets experience points. That was most of my team again. Alright, now what's Frostlass going to be like, type-wise? Dragon didn't do much. I know that. I can steal whatever item you have. Thanks for your safety goggles. Okay, also weak to ground. Frostlass would have been easier to take out from the start. In theory. Okay, now to leave the gym again. <laughs> wow. Heck of a gym. Heck of a gym you got here, Santa Luis City. What's Mud Slab like in this reality? Poison type. 70 power, 85 accuracy special. Uh, better than takedown because I don't want recoil damage, probably. Bug Buzz. What's that like in this reality? Poison type. 65 power, 95 accuracy, physical. Uh... Better than Psychic? Which is 45 power, uh, fighting special? Wow, you evolved quickly too! Well, if you say so, kid. I think maybe what I should do is... Uh... Let's... Oops. I keep thinking X will be something else on the menu. Instead of trying to use Evo, let's, um, oh, you can run on this. Let's move the Assault Vest onto the Abra and swap something else in. Because this gym is scary, and also, they are only level 4. I should swap something else in that can evolve and try to get experience for them, just to see what happens.
So let's see. Nidoran would be a possible choice. Cherubi. When does Cherubi evolve? Cherubi evolution. Twenty-five. So I think the way the evolutions being faster type setting works is that they all things are guaranteed to hit final form by 40. But if it only evolves once anyway, well, I mean, it could evolve more. We don't know what it evolves into. There is, hmm. Barboach would also evolve. Cub Chew would evolve. Nidoran should evolve fastest. But I do already have a grass type, I think. Yeah, I do. I do already have a dragon type as well. And a ground? No. Hmm. Actually... I think what I'll do for this gym is just put one of the... good Pokémon back in there. <laughs> one of the higher level ones. We'll find more stuff in the future. That's kind of the point. We're probably going to be shuffling the team around a fair amount. I wonder if ZA will have roller skates in it, too. Roller skates are a concept I completely forgot about, at least in the context of Pokémon. Such weak prey, you've been caught right up in my spider web. Sure. What do you have, Charlotte? Kyogre and Aerodactyl. Are all gyms going to be like this? What what on earth is happening? I'm frightened. Um I have a list of concerns. Most of them are Kyogre and Aerodactyl right now. I mean, I guess I could have been using Volcanion. Aerodactyl has Protean. So that's fun, I guess. Well, we know their type now, so that's the thing. Do we have anything that works well against Bug? I think bugs are weak to rock? I do have some flying moves. It's always the singing swords these days. Glare is fighting type. So we've got that going on too. Probably not. This is kind of an annoying gem to leave 
ev after every fight too. But I'm gonna have to do it. Ow. Well, that works at least. Haven't you ever heard of the paralysis clause that's not real? Good grief. Um... Well, if I can hit you again... That's fine. Probably. Well, your grass type... Well, all of your protein moves turn you into weak to flying, which is what I was using anyway. Now you're steel, so never mind what I said. Fine. And what's this? You got pumps. Is there a crit berry? What? Good grief. Also very fast Kyogre, by the way. Every battle is a is a significant effort so far in this gym. Super fragile, apparently. That's funny. That was a that was a Kyogre made of paper. Ah, no fair! My web wasn't strong enough to keep you. Okay, time to leave again. Buffy loves to do exactly one Pokemon battle and then pass out. It's her favorite thing. Aside from creating a maelstrom of chaos, of course. Which she does passively, but she does enjoy the chaos. Clearly. I mean, look, she's already- she's always smiling. Uh... Yeah. Alright, who's ready to fight the gym leader after... ...that... ...set of trainers? Is she going to be stronger, or weaker, or equal? Who can say? Well, the, the randomizer log could say if I saved it, but I don't know if I didn't.
Hello. That determined expression, that glint in your eye that says you're up to the challenge. It's fantastic, just fantastic. This is your first time challenging a gym? Fantastic! Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow a loss, or the blossoming of joy that comes with victory, they're both great subjects for my camera. Fantastic, this'll be just fantastic. Now come at me! My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anything ruin this shot. Viola! Phantump and Manectric. I, we've downgraded a little bit in terms of threat level. <laughs> and Phantom is afraid of something. Oh yeah. I, I don't think you were here, Iza, when I learned the most powerful move in the game. Allow me to demonstrate. Assuming I don't get obliterated. Oh no, I got obliterated! Man, I got the promotional move that does nothing called Hold Hands that make, makes your Pokemon do a funny dance in doubles battles, and that's it. But I got obliterated when I tried to use it, unfortunately. I forget what that is. I guess that's a what I forget the name of that Pokemon even. Yeah, Z Hold Hands does do something. I looked it up and I noticed that detail. You can't use a potion, that's cheating. Yeah. Why is the Manectric suddenly super tanky too? <laughs> I tried to think of a Meloetta, I think is the name for that Pokemon. Is that the one that has Relic Song? Meloetta? One of those? When I was trying to think of this name, my brain was returning Melodia, which is not correct. Yes, okay. I did get it correct eventually. Signal Beam. What is Signal Beam? Poison 75 100 physical. Okay. That's good. I guess I can get rid of Odor Sleuth for that. <laughs> Siamon is pretty strong move-wise so far. Twister was a multi-hit. Oh, you're weak to poison. How, fu how fun. 
Well, that was significantly easier than the gym before it. In an amusing way. The music's having some weird issues, but this is running on hardware, so that must be something with the randomizer. You and your Pokemon have just shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic, just fantastic. Young trainer, you... No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Abra have shown me a whole new depth of field. It barely means anything. I get that you're going for, like, photography and all that, but... Fantastic, just fantastic. Here's a badge. It's very three-dimensional. You received the bug badge. With that bug badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yep, even if you get them from trades. And here, this TM commemorates your win against a pro photog like me. TM83 Seismic Toss. Yep, that's exactly your famous move. Using a TM like that one there lets you teach your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter set to a hunt one out of a thousand can snap shut. TMs are some of the best gear around. They're point and click easy, and you can use them over and over again. Now the TM I just gave you is for a move called Seismic Toss. Use it and it will be it will deal damage equal to your level. Now then, can you zoom in a bit to check out the tent behind me? Take the stairs that you'll find behind beyond it, and you'll be back up to the entrance faster than a flash. Yeah, her badge is neat. This is the one where you can poke the badges in the screen, right? No, you... Well, you can, and it does this. This is not one where you can poke them to make a sound. Yeah, you can throw the earth to a sail whenever you want. I forgot about the, the staircase up being behind the painting. That's funny. Ho ho ho! Would you look at that bug badge? Nice, very nice, future champ! I bet that schmancy pants professor who gave you your first Pokemon would be amazed to see it. After you heal up your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head on up to the Pokemon Lab in Lumio City and show it to him, huh? All right, I'll do that. This has been an exciting adventure so far. Here knows here. All right. Now I will save. And then I will do this. And also the accompanying activity that happens when this happens will also occur as it does often. Prediction. Start prediction. This or that. Got it. Good luck.
Congratulations to those who voted that. Condolences to those who voted or predicted this. Because it was that. And now, this. And by that, I mean Pokemon. We're back. Hello, welcome. It's time to go up, I guess. Oh, you. You are, aren't you? Yep. Oh, you beat something about Viola. You To beat Viola at your young age, you really are something, aren't you? Oh, sorry, I never did introduce myself, did I? I'm Alexa. The gym leader you just faced, Viola, is my younger sister. I work as a journalist myself. Here, why don't you take this to celebrate getting your first badge? Experience share. If you have an experience share and you turn it on, all of the Pokemon on your team get experience points, even if they don't appear in battle. I hope it appears with your or helps with your training. I work at the big publishing house up in Lumio City. Feel free to stop by any time if you have the next big scoop to share with me. So the, there's the experience share. Is it on by default? It is on by default. I will leave it on. Wait, you can perform tricks with the roller skates? Since when? You can do this. Is this a trick? Wait, it is actually. Check out my cool tricks. Anyway. I hope they put I hope the I hope they put the skates in ZA. But anyway, hello and welcome everyone. It's time for our first random Pokemon of this route, which is Scallopede. Hello Scallopede, how are you? You're a cool bug. Which means I need to get my Elizin name generator out again. Rock bug. Close. And your name is... Is this even... Your name is apparently Koinion. This is a name that the generator really did just give me. Congratulations, coin for short. <laughs> coin yone, coin yone. It's like an onion with coins in it. I don't know. What else we got? Oh, Snivy. Hey, Snivy. Type Snivy. Your name is Olion.
I don't remember if there's different encounters in the different flowers or anything like that. But there is Winter Saw's Buck. Lots of interesting ones on this route. We might be close to evolution for some people. Water Ice Sawsbuck. Okay. And you can be... Avel. As usual, I will say, if there are any Pokémon that I catch that really jump out at you and you want me to use them, feel free to mention it. And I'll see if they're usable. Ah, we've also got Quilava. Lots of, lots of girls on this road, also. All four of these have been female Pokémon. Lava. Your name can be Arian. I do already want to. Like, I don't know how many Pokémon are going to be on this route, but I do think I want to swap one of these in already. Potentially. Because, I as I said, I would like to use some that will evolve, because we need to see what wacky evolutions happen. I hope I can get a Mega Evolution just existing on its own as a funny thing. Okay. Ariane has Tangled Feet. Grass, Comet Punch, Air Slash, Assurance, whoops. I will, I think the X button is like more information in Scarlet Violet or something. So it keeps throwing me off. That was deposit. Let's look at further information instead of not doing that. Lots of defense on this Quilava. Comet Punch is flying with 15 power. It does a multi-hit move. Air Slash is Rock Special, 50. Assurance is Fire, Physical, 50. Okay, the lava's not amazing. Quick feet? Right after I threw that Fire Orb in the garbage. Waka waka. Anyway, um... Yeah. I don't know why I said waka waka. Gu guillotine with 40 power, or accuracy. Focus blast with steel special, 6100. Thunder punch, ground, physical, 6085. Ice fang, ghost, physical, 6085. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Snivy's uh, having a time over here. Ice body, Giga Impact, Sky- whoop. Uh, it's not the X button. The X button is just go away, apparently, in this version. I'll learn eventually, maybe. We can only hope. So what's your deal? You restore HP and in Hailstorm. Giga Impact is normal. Sky up- Sky Uppercut's good. Electric Metronome- what do you mean metronome has 70 accuracy? I feel like that doesn't mean anything. Very strong pluck also. Okay. 
I think... I think I want to put you in the party over Primate. Okay, so this just happens if you rotate the control stick. That that twin that that twist. I was trying to decide between twist or spin and I said twin, which is both of those things, but also neither of them. Oh, right. You, the D-pad is just running. And the control stick specifically is interesting. I didn't realize that the different movement inputs actually used different, you know, mechanisms. Right, I didn't even look at the scullipede that I caught. I knew I was forgetting someone. Skates are really fun. Oh wait, no, this will this will remove you from the world. I forgot. Well, goodbye from the world, I guess. Farewell. <laughs> I forgot Dragon Tail does that. Removed. From the world. Blastoise a knight is just here, okay. I'm going to assume that the Mega Evolution Stones attach to the same Pokemon? Typically? And aren't, like, it's not randomized who actually benefits from this? Though I don't think Blastoise will evolve into Mega Blastoise. I'm not actually sure about how that works or not. Oh, Electabuzz is here too. that like in this reality 7090 special ghosts I'm tempted to keep hold hands forever just because why not I guess it's funny so I'll get rid of spikes steel psychic electabuzz that's normal that's fine Your name is Yusan. I there's actually supposed to be a T at the end of that, and I forgot about it because it's silent. But that's fine. You're the first naming error aside from Bef Beft, which I could have said no to. There's an item over here. Instead of I. I, I misnamed, I mistyped the nickname when I was, you were Water Ice, which is bad for Leon. I mistyped the nickname as Beft, and then I didn't realize there was a yes or no prompt afterwards, so I reloaded the save instead.
No. Not that. That's annoying. Well, at least you're gonna keep using it. Okay, I think we're gonna see an evolution now. No. Is Pidgey, like, does Pidgey evolve at 18 or something? This is a, this is a question I'm always, yep, level 18, okay. These are, I will never remember evolution levels, apparently. Uh, I was given a paralyzed heal if I remember, yep. How convenient. Jaw fossil. Okay. Hello. I'm warning you, youngster, my corfish here has some sharp pincers. Gardener. Sent out Ammonite and you were close. No, mm. Ammonite and Wailord, you were kind of close a little bit to what you were saying. Not really, though. Let's use metronome for a comedy. And, uh... Oh, Dazzling Gleam hits both. I forgot. Well, Lillian's dead now. Never mind. No comedy allowed. Ow. I think Abra evolves at 16, maybe? Maybe. Uh-oh. What are you snacking on? Special defense. No, the sludge. Well, Utel is dead, I guess. You poisoned my cat, you silly whale. Don't do that. It's very rude of you. Dang sludge whale. Us right down to size. Oh, right. I forgot. I can't talk to people. Because due to the double battles, if you talk to people, there is just a really long pause and then a blank text box for some reason. To be fair, this is... That is a representative of how I often feel sometimes. Sometimes you just have a day where your mood is a long pause in a blank text box, you know? Time to go heal again. Why do I keep going up here instinctively? Check how Dublade evolves. Thirty-five. Oh wait, no. Duskstone. Okay. Thirty-five is how uh, Hone Edge evolves into Dublade.
Carol Fountain. Acceptance creates harmony. I love Pokemon battles, but they'd be even better if I didn't have to stop skating. Okay, sure. Finally, Oleon gets experience. Yay. Sky uppercut! Oh. Well, you know. It was worth a shot. What if I use metronome as a bit? Again? What if I insist on trying to do that? Taunt. Okay. Close combat, huh? What's that like? It's weird. I don't... I don't know about that. I mean, it's better than Giga Impact, probably. to learn Sacred Sword. Okay, sure. Sacred Sword is bug type. 75, 85 special. Uh... A little bit better than one of the other moves, maybe. The moment I stop, down flutters the Fletchling. That wasn't your Pokemon, but okay. They do really like their camera shenanigans. Mental herb. Okay, sometimes you just have a blank text box and a pause before battle, then. Cool. 
Staryu and Regigigas! Who won't have slow start, probably, because I said no detrimental things. Okay, sure. Let's try Metronome, I guess. It's time to die. Regigigas is using Sky Attack. Use Delete Regigigas from the game. Fire Pledge. You tried. Hydro Cannon. I'm gonna keep using Metronome, foolishly. Uh oh. Well, that was awful, what? Maybe this is fine, actually. Claver wants to learn revenge, which is poison. 7590 special. Okay. It's slightly better than Mud Slap. Arguably. Toxic. I mean, I'll take it. I want to make the cat rotate again. Plan. This Regigigas has like no attack power actually. Cat rotate. And you're weak to steal. Okay, that actually, that Regigigas was nothing. Except a million experience points. This was good, actually, for us. We can start to see our stat spreads a bit more as well, I guess. This battle made it even more clear to me! You really love Pokémon! That's probably related to what you were trying to say when you said Paterway is famous for these hedgerow gardens. If you can defeat me, I'll tell you what their official name is. Volbeat and Donphan. Did you know that there is a setting on the randomizer that makes it only... that makes the only move everyone has metronome? This is all. You shouldn't do this. <laughs> okay, Don Fan is normal. Okay, Bullbeat is strong. And you have a rocky helmet, so I die. Okay. You know what, that's fair, I guess. Not really, but at the same time. I'm going to take your hat. take it if you kill them? No, wait, you, you get damaged by it and then you take it. That's funny. Absorb. Absorb is dark 
With 75 power and 100 accuracy? Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, I said I wanted to keep hold hands forever as a bit, but also, uh, I don't need to do that. I remove it. Goodbye. Mattel forgot how to hold hands in favor of Soul Steel! Okay, we might see an actual evolution in a second. tomb even are you excited to experience the evolution of multiple pokemon randomly i'm a pro when it comes to gardens you're a pro when it comes to pokemon i'll never know what the gardens are called because i can't talk to you la Verre is evolving what are we gonna get oh there's a lot of Suspense in this version of evolution. It's Riolu! Okay. Sure. So you need friendship to evolve again. Cluyo is evolving. Cluyao. Cluyo. I think it's Cluyo. This, this really builds the suspense. Oh. Wigglytuff! Abra evolves into Wigglytuff. Everyone knows this about Abra. Well. Let's take a look. So you now have shell armor, and you are still fighting type. You are very defense-oriented and some special attack. But like, all of your moves have been physical so far, I think. No revenge is special, so you should be using revenge. Laver needs happiness to evolve again. But Yo will not evolve again, on account of being a Wigglytuff. However, that's a pretty strong Wigglytuff. Especially with this and this. I think Cluyo is probably going to stay around for a bit. I've always liked Wigglytuff, so... So, of the, of the team we currently have, um, we need a Duskstone, Friendship, and we have two level up evolutions. A Dusk Stone seems pretty unlikely. So maybe we should swap out the swords at some point. Or consider it. Maybe. That's always the problem with stone evolutions, I suppose, in a randomizer. But we do have a very, very strong Wigglytuff who can summon the Earth and also growl at people. Hello there! Have you ever heard of a Pokémon called Flabebe? So you haven't seen one yet? Well, that's something you can look forward to! Flabebe is, now brace yourself, a fairy-type Pokémon. Fairy-type is a new type of Pokémon to just turn the entire type matchup system on its head! And we've been battling fairy-type Pokémon against other types of Pokémon at Professor Sycamore's request! My name's Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful la- Right, Dex and Cena, who didn't have unique, uh, models at this point in time, but then come back later in Sun and Moon, I think. 
I'm Dexio, Dexio, not Dex. I'm Dexio. Two years ago, Professor Sycamore entrusted me with a Pokedex. You could call me a Pokemon Voyage veteran. If you like, I'll show you the way to the lab. So come along now. Sure, I guess. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Oh, I wasn't given the choice to talk to- So how are you and Purloin getting along? The more you walk around with your Pokémon, the stronger your friendship will become. Wait, why am I doing that voice for Here, this is the TM for return. This is a move that gets more powerful when your friendship with a Pokémon using it is strong. Beffy obtained TM27 Shadow Claw. Yeah, sure. Right through this gate and you'll be in Lumio City. Go on already! Shadow Claw is definitely the same thing as Return. Actually, no, it's 90 power, 100 accuracy, bug physical. Yeah? Yeah? And it's learnable by three of the team. Okay. You got it, I guess. Now, Glaver is special attack, right? Yeah, but this is still probably better than, like, actually having... Well, Return is special, actually, so that's good. It's better than these... And Leon, what attack stat are you good at? Definitely regular attack. So this is great for you. Sky Uppercut is special and you have nine special attacks, so let's get rid of that. Welcome to Lumio City. This will be where the entirety of ZA takes place, apparently. I'll go ahead and wait in front of the lab for you. Follow her that way to the lab. There, Lumio City has a lot going on in it, if I remember correctly. We don't get like a mini map or anything. You know there's a Pokemon Center across from the Poke Pokemon Lab, right? Okay. Furfru is here. I must talk to Dog. Hey. Bowf! I agree. This is South Boulevard. The Pokemon Lab, the Trainer PR Video Studio, and the Stylist Coiffeur Clips are on this boulevard. Wait, is there hairstyles in this game? I forget. Or is that just hairstyles for Furfru? This building is the Sycamore per Pokemon Lab. Let's go inside. But I wanna... I wanna heal. I accidentally pressed L and R. I wanna... I'm sorry, there's a blackout. You can't go any farther until it's fixed. Wait, what? Oh, you can you can do a hop by switching to and fro. Okay, fine. I'll just go in the building. <laughs> You've traveled a long way from Vanaville Town, but you're finally here. Oh no, it's the Animal Crossing system. I forgot. That's very funny. 
The professor can't the professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him on the third floor. So hop in the elevator. Can I examine any of this wall art? No. The game is trying to tell me to connect to the internet. I won't do so. Well, third floor. I guess I'll have to leave Pokemon and me on the bottom screen in order to not be told to use the internet. That's him. So, we finally meet! Hello, Sycamore. Fantastic! You're here! Come this way, won't you? Ah, uh, when I have Pokemon uh, me on the lower screen, my cat yells at me about cake constantly. I forgot about that. What a demanding cat. Hold on. Hold on, Sycamore, my cat is demanding cake. And I- also the cat is standing up. Sycamore. My cat. What does this button do? Nothing? Sycamore, my cat. Oh, wait, doesn't it like read your face with the camera or something? That's what that is? Hello. Hello, my cat. You can see me. I forgot that it has the camera feature. The number of Pokémon you've encountered in the Central Kalos Pokédex is 17. Tell me when you encounter 20 or more. Wait, where'd Sycamore go? Oh, over here. Many thanks for coming all the way from Bonneville Town. I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How is your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic! Let me have a quick look at your Pokedex and see. Hmm. So you've seen 17 kinds of Pokemon in Central Kalos then. You have to get yourself in that tall grass if you're going to find any Pokemon. I'm guessing the National Dex doesn't count and that's the problem here. Well now, you do have a certain je ne sais quoi. I have a good feeling about you. At first I was thinking of choosing only one child from a town when I was deciding who to give a Pokemon to. In Vanneville Town, I was going to be the child of a veteran trainer I know. About then, I learned that the Rhyhorn Razor Grace and her daughter were moving here. Wow, I forgot that the Pokemon mother of this game has a name. Here in the Kalos region, you're far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me right here. Then it hit me. Right over here. I should give you a Pokemon and have you travel around Kalos. Hi, Professor. It's Shauna. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic! Now let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me. I didn't get to heal though, man. Julian is still dead. Hey, Shauna, can you heal me still? Pokemon battle in the lab? Why are you the one who gets to battle the professor? It's fine. Shall we start the battle? Just so you know, I'm not that tough! Sends out Mewtwo and Lugia or something. You have three guys. Excadrill and Shieldon. Well, I mean, that's something still. Well. Well. <laughs> Alright, we got a pretty good setup here. When does Purloin evolve? Let me check. Purloin evolve. Twenty. 
Okay. I feel like Uchel and Cluyo will be on the team for a while. Probo Pass. Ominous close up shot of Wigglytuff zooming in even more. Ah. So you resist grass. You are a very defense oriented type of Pokemon. What about Bug? You are weak to bug. What it resists grass and is weak to grass, I guess, would be... Would fit that description, actually. More like Wiggly Buff. Even though Iggly Buff is the one with that. Ah, you're too much for me. You really, you're really something, aren't you? Smile. I think I've about figured it out. Figured out, figured what out? Buffy, you are an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. What? <laughs> I forgot that there was another one of these. Okay. Anyone have any strong opinions on this? Ponyon, Darumaka, Golduck. Uh, Ponyard evolves really late, I believe. 52, well that'll be 40 minimum now. Darumaka, I believe, also evolves late. On account of being from that gen, 35. And Golduck we've already seen. I'm taking Darumaka, I guess. You picked Squirtle then! I see, that's simply wonderful. Your party is full. Please choose a Pokemon to send to the PC box. What, you have to take this one? Also, Leon got healed. Somehow. Well... The swords aren't gonna... We're not gonna find a Duskstone anytime soon, probably. I would like to give my Pokémon a nickname, thank you. Your name... is... Firo. Not to be confused with Firo. That's different. It'd be funny if you evolved into Firo, though. So, you've decided its nickname will be Firo? Yes. Since you chose Squirtle, I'll give you this Megastone. Wait, no, I already have that one. <laughs> I've been pranked. Come, you come now, you two. Pick your Pokémon. I don't know which one to pick, it's so difficult! It's okay, take your time. Well, I've got the feeling everyone else will show up soon. I think I said I wasn't going to try and make anyone sound French, but I made Sycamore vaguely French. Hi, Professor Sycamore! What's this? Everyone is already here! See? How wonderful! Everyone's all here! So now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be! At the same time, remember to have fun traveling with your Pokémon. Also, I want to ask for your help in solving the Kalos region's biggest Pokémon mystery. The secret and potential of Mega Evolution. A new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. That's why I gave you that Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Mega Evolution? What should we do about the Pokédex? Trevor, my lad, if that's what best trainer means to you, then I want you to go out there and complete that Pokédex. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. If you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out Camfreo Town? That town has a lot of history. You might find a hint there. Now listen. 
If you visit many different places to complete the Pokedex, you will probably see Pokemon with many ways of living and meet people with many ways of thinking. First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own. And think about what's really important. This will truly broaden your horizons. I think being different from others is part of what makes me special. Mastering Mega Evolution will definitely set me apart from other trainers. Hmm, I guess I want to make lots and lots of good memories. Uh, oh, uh, I'll complete the Pokedex then. The best trainer. If being the best trainer had more to do with dancing, then I might have a chance. I think being different from others is I'm saying the same dialogue, actually. Well, alright then. And what's up with Firo? Weak armor, water ghost, high attack power, and your moves are these ones. Odd. So incinerate, 5575 special, heck, 90, er, 5595 physical. Hyper Fang's pretty alright. Eh. Not the most impressive Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. What's on the second floor? What do you got over here? To become good friends with Pokemon, it's best to be with them all the time. Please use these. Pokemon caught with a Luxury Ball will become friendly more easily. Each Pokemon has a mysterious power called an ability. Some abilities have effects during a battle, and some have effects in the field. There are male Pokemon, female Pokemon, and even Pokemon with unknown genders. Some Pokemon have a different appearance depending on gender. The Professor is researching evolution and change. I heard that he learned a lot from Professor Rowan in Sinnoh when he was young. I heard that a TV and a washing machine are necessary for research on a certain Pokémon. Oh, fighting completely in sync with my favorite Pokémon gives me chills. I'm developing a tool that will help my research. It's pretty difficult work. Please wait patiently for it to be completed. Meanwhile, I'll continue staring at garbage next to all these floating orbs. I guess. Which is normal. Ah. So, I will be able to meet them soon, then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. Here's one of them now. That's Beffy. Beffy, come here a sec. Here's the villain. Oh, you received a Pokedex from the professor, then. How wonderful. It is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lysander. I've tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor T the Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a hollow caster. Knowledge is power, after all. Put it to good use. Now listen, it is vital that this world become a better place. And the people and Pokemon chosen to make the world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be off. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire, it is for a more beautiful world. <laughs> he looks like such a good guy. Eh. Still, I wonder what kind of beautiful world Lysander desires. In this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. I hope getting a Pokedex gives you a chance to learn about them. Pokemon don't make the the villain obvious challenge. <laughs> go make the world better by dot. Don't worry, he'll get to that. Beffy, there's a place I want to go check out, so I'll see you around. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'll wait for you in Cafe Soleil, neighbor. Soleil? Soleil? I wonder what Kalen wants to talk about. Why couldn't he just use the holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush-hush. 
I am curious about what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Hey, Bethy! To get to camp for your town, leave the lab, turn left, and go straight. That Café Soleil Kalen was talking about is over that way, too. Sorry, I completely didn't absorb that. Turn left and go straight. But there's so much other stuff around here to look at. Lumio City may be very large, but if you stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm gonna go on a little walk. The streets sure wind and wonder here. Oh, just so you know, Camp for Your Town and Cafe Soleil are over this way. Oh, there is a map. Kind. No, actually, that's just the logo. My cat is doing rolling around on the screen. Pokemon and me is a silly place. I heard that having your experience share turned on will give Pokemon in your team half of the experience points received by those who won the battle, even if they don't appear in the battle themselves. There's so many Pokemon moves, aren't there? I think they're so cool! Pokemon sometimes learn new moves as they level up, you know, etc, etc. A lot of these NPCs are just sort of tutorial dialogue. Would you like to trade Pokemiles for prizes? Poke mileage is the service that allows you to collect miles when you trade Pokemon or pass by people. Do you know about Street Pass? When you have six Pokemon with you, it'll be sent to your box as the power of science, etc. Now, there's some other stuff in here. Here we have Electabuzz. Let's learn about your nonsense. Sand Rush. Pretty decent Dragon Rush. Curse. Special 25 power bullet seed. Could be good. Uh, I didn't look at Quilava. Oh, wait, no, I did look at Quilava. I didn't look at Scallopede. Scallopede is damp. Scallopede is fast and defensive. Vacuum wave, wing attack, wrap, tail glow. Hmm. A fast and tanky Pokemon with tail glow is an interesting idea. Though the only special attack that Coin currently has is a uh, wrap, so. I'll just swap the swords back in, in place of the Darumaka, I think. For now. What do you have? Okay. Very expensive things. Double hit, power up punch, aqua ring, knock off, and size shock. Do I have anything I can sell? I got a tiny mushroom. I can sell this mental herb. Double hit could be good. I don't think there's any way I can afford it at the moment. Can't sell TMs. But yeah, double hit. Uh, that looks like it's still normal type based on the color. Unless the... Hmm. Yeah, okay, the color does change with the type, I think. Power-up punch is probably potentially ridiculous as well. If it rolled high, just having a strong move that also is stronger every time you use it could be good. Uh, how many of these do I have? Ten? 
five, five more. Oh wait, is it special? That's true, it could be special. I don't think we know that information. Yeah, we don't know that. But that's a good point. It could be special and thus not be as good. Double hit is... has a higher chance of being good. Right, the PR studio. Buffy, check this out! You can make trainer PR videos here. It's called the PR Video Studio. Making my own PR video is like a dream come true. They can edit, make a quick video for you, or you can edit your own masterpiece. I'll put my heart into those 10 seconds and put them out there for the world to see. All right, so what's our priority list here? We have to get a haircut. That much I know. Can I read this? Specialty shops. These might all be weird. I don't know if these also get randomized. When I gave my Jigglypuff a Moonstone, it evolved into the Wigglypuff I have now. It was totally sick, dude, you know? <laughs> Do you actually? No. Okay, so this counts as a specialty shop. So trade evolutions are changed to be possible. So I don't know if Dubious Disc and Upgrade do anything at all? They might not. It's not a met Metapod anymore, Dad. Well, knock me over with a feather. If it isn't the famous trainer Beffy that everyone's talking about, indeed. Miss Beffy, I'm the most perfectly perfect stone for you. Oh, yes, I do. This is my most prized piece in my inventory, the Venus, all right. Have a little look-see, why don't you? Right. I don't have money. <laughs> I don't need to read all of these. <laughs> Sedimentary malware. Yeah, it is a it is a Porygon shop. I don't know if that's ever gonna mean anything. Meanwhile, I, the lower screen is continuing to bother me and tell me to do things. So I guess this cat will punch a bag now. Because if I use this, if I have this screen, it yelled at me to go online at some point. Anyway, clothing. I doubt I can afford anything. How may I help you? Oh, you're not as stylish as you could be. I'm so sorry to tell you this. This is a place for stylish people only. May I suggest you try various things in Lumio City before you come back again? I forgot about this store. I also don't remember how to solve it, but I know it's fine. Whatever. I don't actually care. This is fur fruit zone. A fur fruit trim, hmm? It'll grow out in about five days. The pelts do grow quickly, don't they? Hey, hey, guess what? My precious fur fur and me are totally in sync with each other. After all, we get up at the same time, eat at the same times, and go to bed at the same time. Balf? Oh. Balf! Balf, balf, balf! I like fur fur. Fur fur is a good dog. Bienvenue to Frisier Fur Furu. Fur fur fur. Here we can groom your lovely fur fru. But I don't have one. This lady will let you know how long your dog has been the same. Perhaps Beffy is a dog, who can say? I'm sorry, there's a blackout. You alright? I'm more of a cat these days, but I used to be more of a wolf, which is kind of like a dog. So who can really say? There's the haircut. All right, let's have a let's do an Animal Crossing questionnaire. Welcome. Tell us what you'd like, and we'll come up with the perfect hairstyle and color for you. Okay. Would you like me to style all of your hair, or just the front? All over. 
Meow. Indeed, sometimes. I think I've actually said that before. Hats are mandatory, except for when you get your hair cut. Hey, it's a randomizer. Surprise me. Hey, it's a randomizer. Surprise me. Wow, Beffy, you've caught Volcanion! My husband was murmuring, very, very mythical. It's the king of mythical Pokemon. I knew it was a very rare Pokemon. Beffy, as I expected, you're a great trainer. Do you have any preference about how to style the, pr the front? It's a randomizer. Surprise me. Prank me to hell. I mean, sure. That's fine. I guess. This is Beffy now. That's exceedingly normal. Yeah. The new hairstyle suits you very well. I feel like that's not weird enough. Are there any weird ones? Are there actually weird ones? I'm, I need to look up XY hairstyles. Trainer customization. Let's take a look on the internet. Okay, so there's two options for bangs. Either there or not, I guess. And then the color are blonde, orange, honey, brown, and black, I guess. In the PR video studio, you can add makeup, different colored lenses, and stickers for only the PR video. You can change your, the color of your eye through lenses obtained once you have them. Okay. Wow, the males only actually have four hairstyles. They have way less hair options, too. I forgot. Eh. I don't know. I think I need more chaotic energy than this. I'll spend the rest of my money. Oh. Shiny black hair is really nice. Clothes with bright colors she can go well with. Maybe I'll just keep it. I forgot they tell you, like... They they mention... Details about what your hair goes with. Maybe I'll just change my hair periodically and randomly. I don't know. There's a blackout. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Beffy. That's a pretty good emote. Where was I supposed to go? I got turned around. I could do a PR video. Hiya, this way, please. Welcome, trainer. I haven't seen you around before. Is this your first time here? That's also a good emote. Wow. This is the PR video studio. You can jam 10 seconds of video with every atom of your awesomeness and show everyone how cool you are. It's quick and easy. Want to try it? Here we go, then. What's your style? Energetic. Roger that, boss. Let's get started. On to the studio. Stand right there for me. That's great. Keep going. Now try acting a bit excited. Yeah, just like that. You got it. Good. Great job on the shoot today. I think this will be a great video. So this is like a default standard one, I guess. Here is Beffy! That's her. Here I go! That's what she sounds like now. <laughs> She's walking. I'll do my best out there! Great job, Beffy. You did it. 
How'd you like it? Cool, huh? I'll save this video for you so you can watch it again anytime. No. So how do you do a custom one? I've made ridiculous ones in the past. I know that much. Uh, shoot new. Yes. Create by yourself. A Pokemon can be in the video too. Wigglytuff. Let's shoot in the studio. Let's see what nonsense I can come up with without trying too much. <laughs> Deffy looms ominously. You can insert events such as a pose and a sound effect in every second. Right. God, this is... Choose a background. This is pretty elaborate and I kind of miss this feature. I remember being ridiculous with it in some sort of vague way. How to pose. God. Perfect. Can make this anime intro type of thing. Uh, camera. <laughs> there she is in the distance. What does that look like? Ah, yeah, that makes sense. There she goes. <laughs> I forgot about that. I mean, I forgot about all of this, but... There she goes. Watch me be here for the next five years. By the way. And what kind of music do we have? <laughs> Good grief. Yeah. Yep. Sound effects. This is very silly already. You could just leave it there and have her not, not show up again at any point. This is very silly. It's going to keep playing this very start of the whole thing forever. I 
I think it's important to know that the the mouth expressions are listed like this. Hmm. E. Ah. Hmm. Eh. Ah. He. Etc. Pretty good. <laughs> she would do that. Probably. I'm getting tired of the, the applause in second zero. Oh, she's still silhouetted. <laughs> she's still facing that way. Look, this is very important. I don't know why I'm putting so much effort into this, the wrong direction. It's only a little bit of effort. And what kind of caption can I put here? Beffy. 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 <laughs> God, I love the PR studio. It's so good. Beffy. Incredible. Now, hold on. <laughs> it just sort of follows her. I love it. And my captions are Beffy, 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 Beffy! Beefy. <laughs> That's right, it's Beffy. Give it up for Beffy. It's Beffy. Beffy! Beffy. Beffy? Here's Beffy! Her name is Beffy. Call me Beffy. Beffy is coming through. God. Incredible. See Beffy smile. It is indeed Beffy! Wait, what is this? Free beat? Oh, yeah, okay, that's fair. That makes sense. Beffy. There are caption colors as well. Well, it's got to be this one, for her chaotic energy. <laughs> Guru meditation error color scheme? I don't think I am aware of this.
Askew. Oh, you can do a Windows Movie Maker effect. Beffy. It is indeed Beffy! Good. Oh, we can, uh... I can make the background brighter for or darker or something for a second while Beffy's on screen that second time. Because her power lights it up, you see. And then in 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 frame five, it'll go back to well, when she's done appearing the second time, it'll go back to normal. Or like six or so. And then Wigglytuff is also here <laughs> for a second. Uh, let's... Effects. You can only have so many camera angles for a Pokémon. Wiggly Jeff just rotates into view or something slowly. Actually, I can literally have the rotating into view, I guess. Rejoice! What a wonderful video. I need to make the caption go away on frame six also. Oops, that's camera. Well, it didn't go away, but that's fine. Wow, what a video. Can I make like the last frame be a one frame explosion for no reason? I mean, kind of.
That's Bethy. <laughs> yep, I can do that, I guess. Wow, what a cool video. That's my cool PR video, I hope you like it. Is my cool PR video. I hope you liked it. I hope your video will be viewed by many people. Okay, bye. And honestly, that might be a good note to end on. If I can find the Pokemon Center again. I'm glad it's been fun. I don't want to go forever again. It has been four and a half hours, so... Seems like a good ending point. I feel like that promo video will not be witnessed by anyone except for you all. But that's fine, too. So, thank you all for watching. This has been... Pokemon Y Randomized Beffy's Adventure in the Chaos Zone. It is indeed Beffy. That's her. And next time will be more of this, presumably. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and or night. And I will see you again on the next stream, which will likely be more of this. And it's also possible that there will be a Splatoon Splatfest stream this week. Maybe. Depending on how I'm feeling about that but yeah thanks for stopping by good night everyone